And coming off the Veterans Day holiday, it's time for our Making a Difference report. Since our veterans already know how to sign up and volunteer for duty, having already done it once, a whole lot of veterans did it again this weekend in some of the places that really need their help after the storm. And the vets treated it like a task, a mission, because that's how they know how to get the job done. Our report tonight from NBC's Stephanie Gosk. When we get to a place, we're simply going to record the phone, the name, the address. Iraq War veteran Harry Golden has been in the Rockaways, a hard-hit community in Queens, for a week. How many guys do you have? Uh, we have 43. And even on Veterans Day, a day dedicated to him, Golden does not slow down. So let's grab our stuff and move out. He's part of Team Rubicon, 300 veteran volunteers coordinating relief efforts since Hurricane Sandy hit two weeks ago. Today, he's leading a group of cadets from the Merchant Marine Academy. We are going to be here until we're not needed. Okay. Beatrice okay. York needs her drywall taken down and the ruined appliances moved out. What's it like to have these guys, these, these veterans, yes. right, show I'm up here? You, this is godsend because, you know, I would have had to pay to get this done. The veterans say they're actually uniquely trained for this. Crisis management is what they do. In fact, this is easier because in a war zone, they're being shot at. Golden is a former first lieutenant in the National Guard, injured in 2006 in Ramadi, Iraq, one of the most violent cities during one of the war's most violent years. I went over with a, with a 21 in my cab platoon. I lost a third of my guys. Helping veterans deal with that kind of trauma is the other half of Team Rubicon's mission. We're taking many veterans, some of whom have uh, been rolling stones since they got out of the military, without a, without a mission, without a purpose in life. And they're regaining that purpose. Golden says this week in the Rockaways has helped him more than anything else in the last seven years. There are people from all over the country that came at a moment's notice because this was an opportunity for us veterans to be able to show people what it is that we can do outside of combat. They are honored today for serving their country, something these vets prove they can do both in and out of uniform. Stephanie Gosk, NBC News, New York.